Huh? Uh, if you love a good thriller, there's a new book you might want to check out. Yeah, to top it off, the setting of the book is right here in Sacramento. Dina is with the author, who's also got ties to our area. Hi, Dina. Yes, good morning to all of you. Okay, the book is called All That Fall, and the author is Chris Calvin, and I am so excited to talk to her. She's a former elected official, has been recognized by the state for her help with children uh, through nonprofit work. And so this morning, we have Chris Calvin. I don't know if that was enough of an introduction to you. I think that there are so many more things I could have mentioned, but thank you for being with us this morning. <laughs> Well, good morning. Thank you so much for having me here. That was a great introduction. Thank you. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about all that fall. So you you already are an award-winning author for One Murder More, another series, a murder mystery series. So what is all that fall? What is the premise of this story? So this story is about a young woman who works for the government. She's a government ethics investigator, and I don't know that that job actually exists, but maybe it should. Uh, and she's <laughs> busy helping a friend open a preschool. So she's not at work on the first day of the book. The book only takes place over 48 hours. So it's in Sacramento. Uh, there's a kidnapping. There's lots of excitement. Uh, my idea is sort of an adventure story for adults, so it's not terribly violent. No harm comes to children, but uh, there are children and teens involved. Okay, so for you, you writing more. this book, obviously... <laughs> Yes, we're going to have to pick up the book. So we know that it comes out uh, very soon. You're going to have a big um, virtual book signing and launch party coming up here at the, at toward the middle of the week. But let's talk about writing this book in the middle of COVID-19. When were you able to, to really get the inspiration for it? And did that really fluctuate or change any of the storyline for you with this, with this last year being so difficult for so many? So I've been a single parent, am a single parent of three kids, and so for a long time I've been used to uh, juggling a lot of things. And when the pandemic hit, it was actually quieter than I'm used to because I wasn't out and about. My day job was as the CEO for the Academy of Pediatrics in California, so I had a lot of things at the Capitol and events and so on. It actually allowed me to focus a little bit more. I don't outline, and I didn't initially see it as taking place in such a short time frame. And I think the pandemic mm. did lead me to think about um, what would happen if you're sort of trapped in this timeline. And that probably came from yeah. the feeling of being so housebound. Yeah. But it was fun. Wow. I mean, I, wow. for me, it gave me a, a focus. Uh, it was due right in the middle, I think, in August of last year. So uh, it really helped me stay focused in a time that I know is difficult for so many people and, um, you know, sort of try to find something that could help me see beyond. And I know everyone was trying to do that. Yes, and I think it's just so fascinating that it's based in Sacramento. So I think for a lot of people, they'll be able to resonate with the storyline in some way, shape, or form. Um, okay, let's quickly talk about the launch party details and then where people can find your book. Thank you. So the virtual launch party is this Friday evening. It's 5 o'clock uh, California time. And if people just go to my website, I know when people say websites, it's sort of corny, but at chriscalvin.com. Everything is there. There'll be news about me doing this, and there'll also be the link that they can uh, come to to join this. It's free. I would love to have you know everyone uh, come. I'm going to be chatting with uh, Gail Lenz, who's a very famous top top. I'm a debut thriller author, and she's someone you really want to hear. Uh, she'll be in conversation with me on Friday evening from five to six California time. You can get the book anywhere. It's a New York publisher, so it's in bookstores. It's ebook. It's audiobook. It's on Amazon. Uh, again, this is a new. A new venture for me. Um, I'm 65, and I never thought I would be writing uh, this way. Uh, maybe for a living, we'll find out. But uh, I'm mostly a reader. I love reading, and this gave me an opportunity to take an idea of my own. Well, I think it's so fascinating, the storyline, where you came from and where you are now. And I think that's so inspiring to other people who maybe, you know, we know our own Cody Stark has been talking about writing a book for a long time. Maybe this is the motivation he needs. You don't necessarily have to be a writer necessarily, but if that, if that inspiration is sparked somewhere within you, I think we can all learn a little bit from that. So thank you so much. Again, Chris Calvin, the book is out now all that fall. We're going to have much more information on Good Day Sacramento. Go ahead and uh, check it out on our website. Back yeah. over to you guys. Right on. I love it when the book is set someplace that you've lived. Uh huh. Because you're like, oh, I know where that is. Yeah. Oh, I know where that is.